First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakhakadash. Second, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered across the four corners of the earth. Where Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has placed you at. Shalom to you, Akim, out there risking your life and your freedom to preach this gospel. It's good news via highways and byways or via the internet. Shalom to you. Shalom to you, Israelites, that may look like the members of the other nations, but your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? And if your spirit can receive it, you're an Israelite. So shalom to you. Shalom to you, sincere wild there, you women. And shalom to you for your um, sincere children. You know? This is the brother Micah. From the tribe of Judah 144, coming at you again for another quick lesson. I brought the Zot, which means Lord willing. By the end of this lesson, you receive some edification from it, right? Today's lesson is going to be entitled, Mystery to His Saints. Because as I sit, as I sit, I was just looking at the time, how I just said 144. I just had caught that in the corner of my eye. But as I um sit and I think about how it is, what we have is such a beautiful thing to have this knowledge, the true knowledge, you know, of who, who we are and, you know, what's about to come. You know, just, just having that knowledge of who you, who you are, you know, having, having the names, all right, having the true names, okay, the names of, of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, who the word only calls God, because God is nothing but a title, all right? And the only begotten Son, who the word only calls Jesus Christ, and his name is Yahweh Shah, okay? Just having those names is power behind those names. And when you, you call upon those names, you say the names of Yahweh, Baha Shem, which means in the name, Yahweh Shah, okay? Because from years and years, years on out, those names have been hidden. Right, but now through the mercy of the Heavenly Father and the Only Begotten Son, those names is being manifested back on the earth. That vibration is being put back on the earth. Okay, this is Colossians verse one in chapter twenty-six. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but is now made manifest to a saint. All right. And I was just looking at different versions of this particular um, scripture. And a lot of them, they take that, that word saint, which, which means the Israelites. But some of them might say his people or, you know, it's just his, his people. A lot of the time what I was saying, his people, saints, you know, to a particular people, things of that... Um, those others can't under, understand, but it's made, you know, able for, for, you know, his people to understand. You know, so it's a particular individual of people that Yahweh Bashem Shah, the Heavenly Father and Only Begotten Son is dealing with. All right? Because if it was meant for the whole world to get it, it would say, but it's made, it's made manifest to the whole world. No. It's made manifest to his saints, his his people, the Israelites. All right, we know who we are. Okay, and that's power in in itself. Knowing who you are, knowing the scriptures, knowing to have the, the names, that's that's power. Okay. It's the word mystery. Strong's G, 3466, Mustadion. Mustadion. Mustadion, Greek. Drop down to the um, definitions. They got a hidden thing, secret, mystery. Generally, mysteries, religion, secrets, only to the potential and not to ordinary mortals. A hidden or secret thing, not obvious to the understanding. A hidden purpose or counsel, secret will. Men... Of Yahweh, the secret counsels which govern, which govern Yahweh's deal with the righteous, which are hidden from the ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the un okay. But all in a nutshell, something that's a mystery 
it's it's a thing that can be hidden or a secret thing because not every Israelite is going to get it. All right, they're not going to get. You know what it is that the Heavenly Father is contemplating with His people. First of all, you have a lot of of our people that don't even believe in their names. They don't even believe in these in these scriptures. All right. They they don't even take the time to research or read anything to see how things just just lock up, okay? Because they're still in that black 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 mindset, okay? But how about Shema Washa, man, has freed us from that, right? Let us know who who we are. We're the Israelites, which consists of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Nephati, Asher, and Issachar. And if I um Mr. Name, you know, if I miss the name, you know, one of you brothers, you know, you, you two sisters, you know, just correct me on the comment board if I had left a name or anything of that nature. But the beautiful thing is that the Most High has given us, you know, what we have longed for. Okay? We actually have 100% knowledge, especially when it comes to, you know, knowing you know, the truth, you know, from the men that he has sat down from the elders and apostles of GMS that I do believe have 100% knowledge, especially when it comes to this, this Bible, you know, and it's being passed down to other like-minded brothers, you know, and diligent sisters and, and, and children that's going to believe. You know, you even have children believing on the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Now, how beautiful is that? Okay? Because your faith has to be at the highest level of levels to believe, you know, when destruction comes that you're going to be delivered. To 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 believe when a nuclear destruction comes that the Most High is going to actually deliver you. That the only begotten Son is going to show up with his army, his legion, and deliver the elect of his people. The ones that the, that the secret was revealed to. The ones that it was intentionally meant for the ones... That God is a God to get it, all right? Because two thirds of all people don't don't consider they don't want this knowledge. To them, you know, they want the bag that's filled with holes. That's that's what they want. They want ease knowledge, all right. But they don't want the knowledge of the, of the heavenly Father, okay? And it's a consequence for not hearkening to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh because the things we're saying is only going to get worse, okay? But those that hearken into Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, man, diligently, we're going to be protected, all right? Because just like I was watching a, a, a beautiful video from one of the brothers, um, I think it was Servant of Zion, one of those brothers, and he was talking, um, and they gave examples about, you know, when, um, you know, when brothers get locked up, and how the Lord, you deliver, I'm talking about um, Joseph. Right, what his brothers did to him, and how he was sent down to Egypt, you know, and and the Lord had had favor on him and de and, and delivered him and helped him out, right? Because some of us is going to be put in different predicaments, but the Most High is going to deliver us from it, right? Because we have the names, we have the true knowledge, all right. And I'm gonna end it off with this. This is the Book of Psalms, chapter twenty-five, and verse fourteen. The secret of Yahweh Bashem El is with them that fear him, and he will show them in his covenant and his promise, right? He promised that he, we was going to be on top. He promised that he would never forsaken us. He promised he would deliver us in the times of trouble, all right? Uh, you know, all we have to do is, is, is fear and be diligent, and Yahweh Bashem El is going to take care of the rest because it's nothing too, too big, nothing too, you know, it's nothing that the Lord can't deliver us from. He's the Almighty, all right? He, he, he's the infinite, okay? And you have to know the rest of the world is just not going to get it, okay? They're not going to understand what it is that the Most High and the Only Begotten. So they're not going to understand what, what when Yahweh Shah was talking in parables. They're not going to understand, you know, the parable between the fig tree and, and you know, summer. They're not going to understand that, all right? 
They're not going to understand those type of things because it wasn't meant for them to get it. All right? But the elect is going to attain what, they, what they're hoping for. The elect is going to sustain everything they need to get them by. All right? Because think how it's, it's just a beautiful thing that to, to and I know I, I, I said it over and over, but it's just that much beautiful of a thing to know who you are. All right? To really, truly, truly know who you are. To know you're a prince of the power. Right? To know you're, to know you're Israelite. All right? To know you're about to be a ruler. Okay? To really, truly know these things is power in itself. Okay? So think about the margin of power we have been given. All right? So you just can't take this truth for granted because, you know, it's here today and the famine is coming. Okay. So take this they take this truth very, very serious because it's a blessing. It is an ultimate blessing to have what we have. Okay? Because really, how about Shemal Shah could have left us out here like the rest of these two thirds in this in this world, not knowing anything. But we know what is about to happen. We know what was to come. Alright? So call Allah Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the whole for elect that's scattered across the four corners of the earth. Where you how Shemel Shah's place you at, all right? Just know we have the most highest intellect of knowledge that can ever be passed down. Ever. All right? So with that being said, Shalom.